We're uh, about to spray the truck finally. Uh, some things we're going to do different on this one versus mine is I'm going to focus more on doing a long stretch at a time because on my truck I was doing a bunch of stop and go and it was causing, causing overspray to kind of get where I was working. So I'm going to try to do a whole panel at a time. Yep. So we got it wiped down and with acetone and I wiped it down with tack cloth to get any lint or any dirt off of it. Now I'm just going to spray the uh, grass around the truck with some water just to kind of keep dust from flying. Other than that, uh, I'm just going to spray it. See how it turns out. First coat is on. Uh, it's pretty good everywhere except for this side. I had a problem with runs and honestly I'm a little embarrassed to show it but you gotta own up to your mistakes. I'm gonna take and uh, scratch them off with a razor blade and re-sand it and respray it because I messed up pretty bad on this side. Sometimes stuff happens. Uh, I had too much paint coming out of the gun and 
I was too close, I believe. Looking back at the video, I, it looked like I was getting closer on this side than the others. Um, so I'm going to take and fix that. And that's about it. Kind of show what I'm doing. I'm just taking the razor blade and scraping up it kind of like so. And what that's doing is just catching the, the high spot of the run and just scraping it off. I'll show you that's what it ends up looking like and then you can sand that smooth and respray it. Now that the runs are scraped flat, I can re-sand this uh, door and get ready to respray it. All right, so here we are after everything's done. <clears throat> Overall, the city truck turned out pretty decent, although I don't think it turned out as good as mine. This truck, I had an issue with ruins and I did three things different than my truck. I, number one, I only primed where I did body work instead of the whole truck. Number two, I went to a much finer grit. I only wet sanded up to like five or 600 on mine. I went to like 1200 on this. And then number three, the temperature was a bit cooler when I did this truck, but not much cooler, like maybe seven or eight degrees difference. But, uh. Like I said, I had an issue with runs. I got a few on, oh, it's the other fender. This one's just got one right there. But we're definitely gonna try to cut and buff this one. Um, I still wanna try mine also. I just haven't gotten around to it. But for some backwoods in the yard bull crap. I'd say it turned out pretty decent. But uh, we'll try the cut and buff. I'll probably get that on video also, but other than that, thanks for watching.